The new South Park game has been revealed, and it is not what people expected it to be. Certainly not what I expected it to be. After much speculation and lead up, we were shown South Park Snow Day, a 3D co-op multiplayer game, which is a far cry from the 2.5D RPGs we were given previously. But what exactly is South Park Snow Day? What can we expect out of this massive departure from the previous entries? Are most fans upset or just a vocal minority? And are they right to feel that way? Let's dive into it. And if you're new here, make sure to check out my other South Park videos. I covered both previous South Park RPGs in super in-depth videos, and they're honestly some of my favorite work. I also cover the series itself and do character evolution and analysis videos. My most recent ones have been on Kenny, Butters, and Ike. Thanks. So obviously the entire game is set around the idea of the South Park kids having a snow day, which I was sort of shocked to realize that despite living in a snowy mountain town, we've never really had an episode set during a snow day, right? I wonder why. The trailer begins with this snowflake falling onto South Park before we see Cartman. It's a snow day, the most magical of days in a young child's life. Yes! Yes! There's no kid! It's a snow day! Obviously, the reveal trailer doesn't have a ton to go on, but that didn't stop me from rampantly speculating and analyzing. I do find it fascinating that we've returned to the fantasy theme for Cartman, donning his Grand Wizard uniform seen in the Return of the Fellowship to the Two Towers, the Black Friday trilogy, and of course, the Stick of Truth. It does appear from the footage of the game later in the trailer that the weaponry will be more fantasy themed once again. I wonder how much, if at all, this will tie to Stick of Truth. But the new 3D graphics are without a doubt the most notable aspect. This is personally not what I wanted out of a new South Park game. As a massive fan of the series and the way that both Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole looked exactly like the show does, it's jarring to see the series in 3D. But it is actually kind of fitting that the first 3D South Park game in decades takes place on a snow day, since the original back on N64 and PS1 focused heavily on throwing snowballs in their first person shooter format. It was pretty clear in my previous speculation that my hope for a 3D South Park game was that it would look and feel more like the South Park intro sequence that they've used for the past 10 years or so. This look maintains the paper cutout vibes while moving things into an extra dimension, but what we're looking at here are just full-on 3D models. That being said, there are things about the execution here that I do like. Though the character models are 3D, the movement is still less fluid and more akin to the character movement we see in the series. The eyes, mouths, and general facial expressions still look like they do in the show. We aren't looking at a fully movable 3D mouth here, it's just the exact mouth shape that are used in the series. This is a bit different than something like the cancelled South Park GTA style game that was in development on Xbox years ago. That game mostly maintained the same types of mouth shapes we're used to in the series, but the eyes bulge off the head a bit more, along with other features like facial hair. I think I prefer what they've done here with Snow Day, at least design-wise, especially compared to what Cartman looked like running around South Park in the cancelled game. This is much, much closer to on model, despite the 3D differences. But it is fascinating to see South Park in 3D, and if the game takes place on one giant 3D map of South Park, I think it will be pretty exciting to explore. In fact, I think we'll likely be able to see a ton more locations in this format. I love how you can explore South Park in the previous games, but the multiple 2D planes basically remove entire halves of streets for locations to be explored. And it seems like they'll have to completely rearrange South Park itself to accommodate this new 3D style of map, and we've seen a little bit of that already in this trailer. We still see Skeeter's wine bar next to Jimbo's guns, as we previously saw in both South Park games, but now we can actually actually see the opposite side of the street shows part of the Italian restaurant, Bucchi di... Well, you know the name. You can tell from the Italian flag color awnings and these arched windows that we've seen on the front of the restaurant previously. In Fractured But Whole, this restaurant was down the street from Skeeters and Jimbo's, not across the street. So rearranging for three dimensions seems to be occurring already. On top of that, we actually get a tiny glimpse at a location we have only seen in the series one time. As the camera rack focuses from the snowflake, we get a peek at this red and brick building. You can barely see part of the sign up top here, and this is the restaurant Nueva Familia, a Mexican restaurant seen in season 19's You're Not Yelping. This is pretty obscure, a location seen in only a single episode is making it into this potentially massive 3D South Park map, which I think bodes well for the level of detail we might be able to see while exploring South Park in three dimensions. If Nueva Familia is making the cut, I imagine we'll be seeing an unbelievable number of other locations as well. Comment below on what spots in South Park you'd love to see represented in this massive 3D 
3D map. Personally, I hope we can actually go into the mall this time. When the trailer actually dives into the gameplay, we specifically see the town square location, though I've never seen this big town square arching sign in the show, I don't think at least, so that's new. But the designs of the location seem to be designed after season 23's episode Christmas Snow, when they were holding this little Christmas themed fair, or Christ Kindle Mart. We see the same red and white striped tents that are visible in that episode, the Christmas tree is lit up in the background with the words Merry Christmas arched in front of it, and then in this shot you can actually see the specific tent that sells cocktails, as seen in that episode as well. So again, they're digging deep into the show to craft inspired areas for us to explore and battle in. But let's talk about that gameplay, which is described as 3D co-op multiplayer. Here's the trailer description. An all new South Park game is coming, in 3D. Join Cartman, Stan, Kyle, and Kenny in three dimensional glory to celebrate the most magical day in any young child's life, a snow day. Grab up to three friends and battle your way through the snow piled streets of South Park on a quest to save the world and enjoy a day without school. Now, when first watching this trailer, I thought for sure this would be a Fortnite style battle royale game. But after further inspection, I don't see any versus mode showcase so far, so I think I was mistaken. It appears to be pretty focused on the co-op multiplayer, hopefully in a campaign. You can see in these shots that there are generally four players highlighted in green, which are your party members, taking out hordes of NPC kids. And damn, this is violent too. Look at all the blood splatters you hit these children. Not to mention that the last part of the description seems to potentially be super story focused and battle your way through the snow piled streets of South Park on a quest to save the world and enjoy a day without school. If this was just a multiplayer versus game, I don't think there would be any kind of quest, it would just be a team versus game. But it appears this is a game to enjoy cooperatively with your friends, which is probably the aspect that sounds most exciting to me. I'd really love to explore South Park with a group of my friends. The game appears to be sort of co-op hack and slash. It almost looks like the old Gauntlet Legends games, which I had a ton of fun playing with friends as a kid, but it's still hard to tell what exactly the POV is going to be here. These shots were clearly just specific captured for the trailer, so I don't know what the camera angle is going to look like when we're actually in gameplay. The last shot is a team of four kids running into battle across the holiday fair, and all have super unique outfits, weapons, and this kid on the left seems to have a spinning attack. Hopefully the team builds will mean each character can have a different role in the party, tank, healer, magic, range, etc, to really give each spot a different vibe and allow for people to play in different styles. It also looks like we'll once again have some pretty significant customization options for our characters. I hope that there are just an obscene number of outfits and hairstyles and weapons to choose from. That made the Fractured But Whole a ton of fun, and differentiating yourself from your co-op partners will make those options even more crucial. And Cartman yells one last thing before they reveal the 2024 release date. Hey! Hey new kid! It's a snow day, dude! So this is confirmation that the character you'll be playing as is once again, the new kid, introduced in Stick of Truth and seen again in Fractured But Whole and Phone Destroyer, which I'm very glad to see. They should fully be continuing that trend even when the games themselves are varying in style and genre. But I'm definitely curious if this will follow the new kid narrative or his abilities we previously saw. Will there be more about their ability to gain social media followers too quickly? Will their farting abilities make an appearance? Will those powers disappear since they aren't taking the medicine they revealed in Fractured But Whole? Will their parents play a role again. We'll see. And lastly, before we get to my personal thoughts, let's just talk about the theme, which I actually love. A snow day is a perfect setting for a South Park game. A day when it feels like all rules go out the window and kids rule the streets. It could not be more fitting, and I'm excited to see the kind of stuff they want to do with it. That being said, it actually kind of bums me out that it's being used for this style of game, because this actually feels like it could have been another amazing setting for an RPG like the previous two games. Which sort of brings me to my my feelings on the game. I do think there are things about this game that look cool and that excite me for its possibilities, but Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole were such perfect extensions of South Park the series. I can't think of a single other game experience adapted from another type of media that felt like I was actually in that piece of media. And that was something I really wanted to see continue moving forward. So though I don't mind South Park branching into other types of gaming experiences, I also really hope that this isn't all we see in the video game realm from South Park moving forward. I would be really sad if we didn't get another RPG in this series, and it seems like the reaction 
reactions to this game so far have echoed this sentiment. There are tons of tweets and comments about how the 3D style is sort of a bummer to see after they previously captured the South Park art style so perfectly. But with the huge surge in popularity for South Park over the last year, a co-op gaming experience is sort of hitting at the exact right time. I'm pretty eager to see how some of the other characters translate into 3D. So far, we've really only seen Cartman and the new kids. I do think that the most exciting possibility for South Park Snow Day is the ability to explore a fully 3D rendered South Park map with your friends. That alone is reason enough for me to be marking my calendar for the release date. I'm really excited to squad up with some South Park homies. But I really hope that we have another South Park RPG on the horizon. Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole are honestly two of my absolute favorite pieces of media in the entire franchise, but you can definitely expect me to talk about Snow Day leading up to and following its release. I really hope it delivers a fun, unique South Park experience with a fun story and campaign. But what do you think? Is Snow Day what you wanted out of a South Park sequel, or are you disappointed in the 3D style? Let me know below in the comments and make sure to check out my videos on other South Park games. Peace! I stay mellow watching Johnny two cellos. He talks cartoons, he's a really cool fellow. He keeps you posted on adult cartoons. If that's what you're into, then grab a spoon and a very big bowl of your favorite cereal. Feels like Saturday morning cartoon material. Johnny two cellos, watch him on YouTube. Now enjoy this groove and bust a move.